McCarthy. Tom McCarthy, I want you to tell them about the time you and Christy set out on a trip to the Blasket Islands. Oh, oh, oh. I'll kill, kill Matthew. <laughs> oh, um, he played, Christy played for me in, in, the, in Dingle the night before. He was a big star in Dingle many, many years ago. <laughs> His favourite spot. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we decided, Christy we might have decided we'd go for the Blaskets um, the following morning, so we hit out early, 8 o'clock. We took dozen bottles of pint bottles we took of Guinness <laughs> and a good few sandwiches like like the first cousin said lots of sandwiches <laughs> <laughs> so we hit for Dunquin we hit for Dunquin and when we got there the guy in the boat said it was too choppy he said can't take it <laughs> like Lauren Hardy Christy said to me where are we going now <laughs> so I said I don't know so he said we'll go down to Brandon I said what in the name of God is can do down there so he says we'll go down there so we crossed to Christy that was driving to the 309 Tujo it was fairly rattling now, in fairness. <laughs> <laughs> she was struggling going over Connor Pass, I tell you that. <laughs> and as the day got, as we got on uh, towards Brandon, the day got very fine, you know, and by the time we got to Brandon, it was scorching, you know. So we were there about half past nine. So we went up, walked up and down the pier, and after that we got a bit sick of it, you know, and we got a bit thirsty. So there was a bar right on top of the pier in Brandon, so uh, we were to still close, of course, it was only half nine in the morning, so I was put up, I was a matty at that stage. I was the manager knocking the roadie, knocking at the, at the door. The woman, stuck, the woman in the house took her head out the window and she said, What do you want? You know? I said, uh, Any chance of a drink? When she, I got an awful roasting. You know? <laughs> and uh, I said, I didn't for myself at all. It's for Christy Moore. <laughs> And she says, well, you know, I, I think she thought I was in the, the DTs, like Christy said, where they go. <laughs> you know, where is he? You know, so Christy was, I called Christy, you know. I said, well, I'll tell you, she was down, opening the door within two seconds. <laughs> in we came, and she, no problem with a drink. And anyway, to make a long story short, went around the village. It all went around the village, Christy Moore was in town. This was only, like I said, pushing 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and by 11, or half 11, the bar was packed. <laughs> Everyone coming home from the creamery stopped the whole lot. And I remember this guy, he pulled the tractor, you know, the, there was the front of the, the house that was facing the sea, yes. and the back of the house, there was the back door, and it was the street. The yes. street. He yes. pulled the tractor up, and I'd say he'd no brakes on the tractor because he, he kind of jammed it against the, <laughs> the. There used to be stone outside the door, he jammed it against the stone, the door. Yes. Came in, left the tractor tick away outside, he had the Wiltons on him and the lot, you know. <laughs> Started drinking pints, freaked out, started singing with us. Do you remember that, Christy? Yeah, that I, I don't know what his name was. To make a long story short, he's there there. And as the day went by, three or four o'clock in the day, Christy sang some nice little tunes and soft melodies, and there would hear the tractor outside ticking away all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know man getting fairly steamed, but to make a long story short, to make a long story <laughs> The wife came for a man, the fellow with the Wellingtons in the tractor, about seven o'clock. And she gave me an earful. Well, Jim, he got a dog in, and he was trying to explain to her, Donnie, reason I'm here, Mary, because Christy's here, and, you know, give me a break. She said, she said, don't mind effing Christy. She said, the cows, the cows must be milked. <laughs> and as she was going out the door, she turned to Christy and said, Christy, she said, hold on there for a while, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Great story, well told. Great story, well told.